what's happening youtube and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming through i'm marilyn Gwenya. if you're new to this channel welcome and if you are a retaining sabi welcome back so i am on my way to town i'm with the beautiful baby sianda sianda say hi to my vlog let them see you <laughs> he's minding his own business he's like girl what are you doing to me anyway um oh 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 let me show you let me show you let me show you so i went to get my wig revamped <laughs> hey look at me look at me <laughs> it's looking amazing guys like it's very very different from that time when i got it because i think of the dye that wig was just dry and um I, I i can't even explain it but for now i am a happy girl anyway i am on my way to town i just need to go to the stand and get something fixed sharp sharp and then i'll be back home so it's just um an in and out kind of thing so yeah let's go <laughs> hey 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 my darlings welcome back so today is um a thursday it's africa day and i am work bound okay i am what's this Okay, so I'm going to Bummerfield Stadium, um, work purposes, uh, Highlanders is playing against Dynamos, and I'm the technician on duty, yes, yes, <laughs> so I'm the technician on duty, I'm actually wearing the wrong shirt, I'm supposed to be wearing a Kulumani FM uh, t-shirt because um, I'll be working under Kulumani FM, but still it's uh, under ZBC definitely not zbc news but you know anyway i'm just about to go there we're supposed to meet at 12 so that we can uh, make the connections on time and 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 but i decided to stop by uh, hillside shops because i left nine rand change here right and then i might go to kfc but i then realized i was gonna go to kfc actually and then i realized i didn't bring money on me okay i had left um one dollar change so i was hoping i'll get a streetwise two or a crusher but it looks like those plans are not gonna work out uh today but maybe tomorrow or the day after or whenever i feel like having kfc i'm just gonna keep the receipt right here in the car yeah guys i'm so excited because it's gonna be my first time going to baba field stadium in my 31 years of existence this is going to be my first time going to a stadium <laughs> okay oh, of course white city i think i once went to white city because the soccer no no no, no. because sports yeah sports primary school you know the vibe but I've never been to Bubberfield Stadium. I've never watched uh, a soccer match. So this should be interesting. And I had, I just had to vlog about it. So guys, let's do that.
guys so we are in a situation here i am parked outside passport office and that's where public service commission buses um pick up and drop off people so i was just by the flea market getting up to my business and now i want to go home and look at this yeah <laughs> i'm in trouble i have to wait for people to clear up and that's gonna take like 30 minutes to an hour but the bus is almost full so fingers crossed maximum will be 30 minutes yeah missing king that's all i can say <laughs> guys ha huh? blonde being a blonde is not easy i'm telling you it's not easy at all um hi guys it's a new day it's a new week uh today is a tuesday and i am going for a hospital visit <laughs> my darlings 2023 it's just something else it's 10 past four it's ga -ga 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 -ga. <laughs> everywhere everywhere um but i didn't have anything to eat so i i just i, I just bought this it's meat it's going for four dollars i think i bought steak and um what do you call it steak and chicken but i wanted steak and pork i couldn't find pork 
they had not you know done their thing with pork so it's smoked steak and um what do you call it what do you call it what do you call it and 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 and, and chicken yeah and then i'm gonna get some is chala in my shops in Ali, you know <laughs> so that i can eat before i do my hospital visit guys 2023 has been like the extreme ghetto and we are just halfway through it eh? and it's just something else from gogo -go to being scammed and now someone also in the family is not okay is not feeling well guys let me tell you something just don't fall sick here in zim if we are to be honest like things are so expensive this side and the problem now is just that um the relative is so close and you know sometimes she's very uh secretive so it's unfair for me to just be telling you that she's not feeling well what, 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 what because i don't know how she feels about me telling people but what got to me now is we did blood tests on monday last week right they told us to come back on monday because they couldn't interpret the results guys they <sighs> So we went to a private doctor on Wednesday. Like that's money. We had tried public hospitals, but Sabon would know these doctors are actually clueless. I, I have to put it out there. From my experience with Gogo and now with this experience, let me tell you something. Public health is a scam. At this point in time in Zimbabwe, I guys, I, I don't wanna lie, just don't fall sick. If unless you can afford private care that's all i'm saying and private care does not come cheap hey eh? <laughs> ah, guys i'm sorry like i i hate this i hate what i'm going through anyway we went to a doctor a private doctor and he was like no just go to a ct scan fine you did ultrasound you did blood tests i'm seeing an anomaly here you know uh so she she i she, he's seeing an anomaly uh in terms of her liver right her liver function whatever so he was like no just go to a ct scan because i'm just a physician uh i i, I would need to for you to go to a ct scan and then when the results come back i'll be able to tell Uguchi, this is what's wrong with this person fine uh we're waiting for the results we're waiting for a ct scan and the results are coming through tomorrow but let me tell you something that ct scan it doesn't come cheap okay <laughs> it doesn't come cheap the cheapest in town in bulawayo they charged us 220 dollars <sighs> so yeah it's it's crazy like that Ha! Huh? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do at this point. I, I'm just defeated. But Tina says, "Timbe gunkulunkul." Axela agula ogunye singa wens. You know, it's just God. We are just hoping that God will come through for us. Anyway, let me show you um this. What four dollars? What four dollars can get you from this uh butchery? Um. Do, do, do i have to mention them yeah whatever it's called imbizo they do smoked um beef smoked pork and smoked uh chicken so you can get it they microwave it for you and you know so let me show you i hope my camera will do justice <music> I 
Nothing bad for you. Nothing bad for you. 